Welcome to Madness Life. If you're new here, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and if you'd like to become a member, links in the description. <laughs> Taco Tuesday. Good morning. Hi, Bebop. Hi, 10 4, good buddy. Live chat alert. There you go. You're welcome. Anna Gag, Shireen, Shelly Ray, Meg, Veronica, Reality Chica. Did you guys see this today? Ooh. That the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore got hit by a cargo ship. It hit it right here in the structure. One of these structures took it out. Yeah. That's crazy. Hi, April. Hi, Hippista. Yeah. Took it out. Yikes. It, it was at nighttime. Um, the ship lost power, wasn't able to navigate. Uh, it call, They called like a May Day. You lost power briefly, Necessita? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was having... Oh, you didn't think it was having an issue until the very last moment? Um, apparently, they called a May Day, and um, they were able to stop cars from coming on the bridge, but there's like eight... There's six people missing. They think they were the construction workers that were working on potholes on the bridge, but we won't know. I heard it went off course suddenly right before it hit. Oh. We'll, we'll never know until we know, right? We, we'll never know till we know. So anyway, prayers to those people. Hope they're found. Um, that's a big problem because that is a means of transportation. In the video that's circling around, you can clearly see the lights go on and off. Okay. Yeah, there was no power to the rudder. Yeah, terrible. Hi, Bebop. Grimes. Cindy Lou. Who? Who? Chantel's luxury sewer rat. Face of America. I speak out. Sammy. How are you guys? Hi, Mia. Rebecca and Becky, thank you for dropping the links. Uh, so, we're going to carry on. Yeah, that would be horrifying. We're going to carry on with uh, yesterday's. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen, we are, listen, we're working on the events that led up to the escape to Kuwait. Because what she's doing right now, she's still raging during Ramadan. She's definitely still in a bad mood. We don't know if she's hangry or if she's just miserable. I don't know. But honestly, we're looking at the comparisons here. We're analyzing the situation. Yeah, bridges are scary on their own, are they not? For real. Now listen, I've been up since the crack of dawn. I had an appointment this morning. I am definitely taking a nap today. Yeah, she's definitely miserable, for F's sake. Yeah. Oh, I know, Christy Claw. Frightening. Uh, so, we're going to carry on. We're going to carry on with the event. And maybe at the end, we can see the conclusion. Yeah, that's a big port in Maryland. That's going to affect... There's, you know, the ship's already sitting at port. Can't leave right now. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen. Someone broke in and stole your purse at the doggy park. What did we learn, Necessita? As soon as they see a person there, they're going to break into your car. You either put it in the trunk or you just take what you need for the doggy park. A little fanny pack. A little, now they put the fanny packs across your chest, you know what I mean? Instead of around your fanny because somebody can just unclip it and grab it. But now people are wearing them around their chest. Anna Gag's driving and listening. She's not going to do any more chat text. So we know you're here. Unicorn blow. Got a doctor's appointment this afternoon. All right. Yeah, I'm exhausted. 
It was a very long morning. In the wind and the rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's see what happens. Listen, I'm going back into this blindly. I just lined up from, from where we left off yesterday. Now, this is where Chantal's gonna shave her head. She got some clippers, people. After her Britney Spears meltdown, cutting her hair, looking like a wild woman. Now she's got to try to, you know, rein in the hair <laughs> to, a, to a, a buzz cut. All right, listen, I ain't against women shaving their head. It's liberating sometimes. Now we know her hair has been growing for a couple of years now. So, you know, no, no, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Unless you do it all for the wrong reasons. We don't know because we weren't there at four in the morning when she, till she went live and showed us this uh, pretty demonstrous <laughs> uh, pixie cut. <laughs> Come on, connect. Stupid ass thing. Gotta make sure we got volume. All right, let's see if it's... Let's go upstairs and do this or what? What do you think? All right, let's do it. Oh my God. Now, do you think that, listen, without hormone replacement from her hysterectomy, I still don't feel like the top of her hair would have grown in. There's no way. There's no way. From what I know about baldness, you know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This was all the hair. I, got. I told you she didn't clean that up. That was from the night before. <laughs> from that? No more of these. <laughs> Wait, you guys want me to shave the middle of my head first? <laughs> do you want me to get... Yeah, okay. Let's do a landing strip. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to get screenshots of these steps. Okay. What do I do? Oh. Um, they're upside do do? down. I don't know how to use this. Hey, Dingbat, couldn't you have watched a damn video? This is the problem with her. She's on Google. She gets paid by Google. Yet she Googles nothing. No videos on any YouTube subject. Nothing. Which is what we missed, by the way. No, it's upside down. Other way? Like this? Yeah, no, Ow. no. She goes, like ow. Chops like this? Did you oil them before you? Probably not. Let me do the instructions. There you go. You're giving me mixed signals. Use a guard. What's a guard? Black, back, black clip on razor. Razor flat on head. But there's two razors. Watch a tutorial and come back. Oh, that's better. Thank you for explaining that. I'm sorry I drove you guys nuts. <laughs> And this, ladies, we are now at a stage where the curtains match the drapes. <laughs> <laughs> We're at a stage where the curtain matches the drapes. You meant the carpet. Oh, my God. I have a weird hairline. I think I'm getting the hang of it now. No more hair fibers. You know how much that makes me happy inside? I shaved my head! It feels awesome. It feels free, like... What would you like? You think she ever vacuumed all that hair? Like, why she didn't do it in the bathroom? I'll never understand. Rub my head. So let's get all clamped up. Naturally. This is amazing. I can't believe I didn't do this before. I am showered, bald, and clean. I do feel kind of badass. I'm actually, like, surprised everyone likes it so much. It's, it's weird for me. I just want to touch it all the time. Oh, yeah. How does it look? I'm so happy you guys are here with me right now, and I did this because... Honestly, it's a bit hard right now, today. Like, at one point, I didn't even know what the hell I'm going to do with myself. You know, when you're so depressed. What are we going to have for supper, guys? Start thinking. I'm getting hungry. Oh, my God. My rages are going to be scary. Look. <laughs> <laughs> you know what made it? You know what it made? Like, okay. So, if you didn't know, Natter used to call her Buffalo. Because when you look at, look at her head on, you can't see her ears. And that's why he nicknamed her Buffalo, which still, it just cracks me up. Like, I would have never thought of that. Because when you look at a Buffalo, you... <laughs> I'm still a train wreck. Don't get it wrong here. Should be done by a professional, you think? 
You guys like it? It's real hair, it's like virgin hair, but it's a lot of hair for me, I find. Like maybe something shorter would have been better, but that actually looks like real hair. Like this looks like my hair. And, and actually, this wig was very attractive until she went at it with the scissors. Then it just turned into a shit show. Okay. Gene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Croatia just messaged me. Like, what do you want? I'm just joking. I think I'm all cool. Do I look like a Fabergé egg with makeup? You look like a buffalo, because we can't see your ears. Bonnet. Yeah, I've never seen ears that sit so flat to your head. Like, so flat, they don't flare out at all. I mean, like, you're talking, looking straight on at somebody and don't see their ears. That's so crazy to me. Be a nice person, nicer person. I actually do feel bad about how I was with Dee Dee. Like, it kind of bugged me that, like, like cutting down about looks and stuff. I think you guys know what's better, best for me. I don't even know sometimes. Really, really been hard just like seeing things for what they are. Like I was We have Dee Dee Lulu in the chat. The real Dee Dee Lulu in the chat. Get out of here. Yeah, you led to her escape. Dee Dee, you're the reason she's sitting in Kuwait making our life miserable. Thanks a lot, Dee Dee. I was I couldn't do it. But after like he blocked me today and how he made me feel with the Machine and everything and everything. Oh, and by the way, Dee Dee Lulu, could you please tell Natter to quit striking channels? I would like to react to his cooking. He needs to quit being such a baby. I'm the newest God. Book, you know? I'm going to make an appointment with the movers, get the boxes taken out, get all the fucking trash out of here. Like, I'm going to make them take all the trash, like, in my room. So I'm going to clean, do a massive clean, put all the trash. They're going to take out all the fucking trash on the balcony, the table. The that never the happened. That never happened. You went to Kuwait and Pete ended up doing it. Pete ended up doing it. So it's not, it's not reparable. Um, take all that. Take anything that's cluttering my house. And I, if I haven't used it and it's usable, I'm going to donate it. But when will I start dating again? Oh, God, I don't know. Oh, my God, look at all the thumbs up. Almost a thousand. Holy shit. Imagine I turned into like a, I get like tattoos on my head, like here. And then I get like a nose ring and like. Like a sleeve and... Dee Dee's dipping out. I just saw this. I was having lunch. Gotta go. <laughs> Dee Dee did the dip. Because we're gonna ride Nader hard for his striking everybody. Tell him to quit being a poo say. Lose weight and get a six pack of boobs. I like grabbing my chubby head bowl. I feel like the vibe is so much different from how I felt just yesterday and today and last week. Like maybe we were just really like toxic for each other really bad, you know? Like you guys give me a thumbs up, I see, so it means you don't dislike me, you dislike my actions. Turned a corner. I do feel like I turned a corner, I, I, like a little corner. Did you? Oh, look at, did you? Step one of your new journey. This is the first step. I do really feel like a different person for some reason. I don't know why. Should I restart the live? Okay, I'll be right back. All right, then, then she finds out, I believe in this one, she finds out that, uh, remember when uh, Nader went to Didi's for the weekend? He was gonna apply for a job and all that stuff. Well, she thought Nader was gonna come home alone. Then she finds out Didi came back to Gatineau with Nader. <laughs> I wake up and what do I see? Oh my God. I wake up to them eating some dry ass. You're gonna sit there and diss me with your fucking Donald Trump comb over eating his dry ass pasta and his- <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, uh, no matter what, she had the best freaking insult when she was mad that Dee Dee was at Natter's. Gonorrhea penis. Give me a fucking break, Dee Dee. I am not jealous. She's just jealous. What, jealous of your position? Of having to watch him break out that window? Of sitting there, having to like, be his yes ma'am all day long? I don't think so. Stop talking about me. Like, why are you talking about me? You're fucking obsessed. I don't, I hate you. Like, I went from actually like, liking sort of having sex with you to like, hating the guts. So, see you later. Keep the fucking iPad. And uh, your phone I gave you and everything else. What else did I give you? 
Let me go over everything I gave you. Let me see. Food processor, the ninja, pots and pans. Let's be honest, Dee Dee, because you're still in the chat. Do you miss Foodie Beauty? Do you miss Foodie Beauty? Huh? I feel like you're the one that misses Foodie Beauty. We miss Foodie Beauty. Do you miss her, Dee Dee? Put that woman through hell. Yeah, Dee Dee won the booby prize. She's jealous he can't eat his food. Hey, dum dum. That's my food. Who do you think pays for things? I think he's all independent. He's all cocky. <laughs> I would loathe myself if I was, were you spending money to come visit him only to have to wear my dirty slippers and eat drugs. Yeah, and you were wearing her dirty slippers. Yeah, you were wearing her dirty slippers that her Funkle feet lived in. Make that make sense. That's some stalker shit. I fucking I never put on another woman's freaking slippers. No way. Rigatoni. Whatever. Fuck. I know they're trying to trigger me. She probably... Good luck, Jamie. She thinks like she's being smart. Like, I'm going to help out her channel by invoking some kind of drama. People probably message her and like, keep the drama going because she's stupid. She doesn't have a brain of her own. I feel bad. Capone says, is wearing someone's slippers equal to peeing on someone's purple mattress? Right? Gross! <laughs> like, those are my slippers. Like, do they not know that or what? I don't think they know that. Of course they know they're your slippers. They're not not her slippers. Booty booty? And is it, Dee Dee, aren't you like six foot? How the hell did you fit in her little Funko slippers? Like, let's be honest. I mean, if you're six foot tall, you know you ain't wearing a size eight shoe, <laughs> right? Right? You just did it for the camera to hurt our girl. Stop. It's over the shit. It's crusty. No wonder. It's probably because his phone got turned off. Uh -huh. <laughs> I fell. She and... shut off his phone again. Yeah, with him, like, I didn't even matter as a person. Yeah, she had to curl her toes, right, Capone? Shove her feet in those slippers. So I'm so jealous, Dee Dee. I'm not going to miss that. Good luck with it. Did she say she brought the slippers? Those are my fucking slippers. You gave me your emphysema, you freaking bum. <laughs> Flying Malcolm's, you are sent for an and give him money. How are you better than Dee Dee? I don't wear her dirty slippers. Bitch. Wait, did she actually say the slippers are hers? So she's admitting to wearing my gross sandals that are black from walking around. Yeah. She did admit to wearing them, did she not? Hi, Miss CG. Can we have a moment of prayer? Yes, we covered that at the beginning. Yes, let's have a moment of prayer for the Key Bridge collapse and the six people that are missing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Amen. Can around his boogers and cigarette butts all day. Okay. Let's go hang out for a little bit. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me, negative troll, yeah. I'm gonna ask her. He literally wanted me to kiss his ass before. You're gonna kiss my ass when you come back. I'm like, no, I'm not. My bottom lip? Oh, uh, no. Nah. Yeah, this is nothing, but you still have it in Kuwait. It's nothing. Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing. Oh, I feel like I caught a weird disease. Oh, wait. I don't know what that is. I need to pee again. See, like my bur pee burns. What did you do to me? Why does your pee burn? Oh, God. <laughs> Foodie. Oh, my gosh. Put it, Next time, put that thing in a raincoat. Oh. Oh. You, what's going on, Tara? Thyroid biopsy. They wouldn't do a biopsy when I had a tumor in my thyroid. They'd just take you right to surgery. Keep it encapsulated, they said. Listen to her in there in the bathroom making sounds. You know when it burns, you feel like you have to go, but you can't. Yeah, it should be looked at by a doctor. Yeah, I'm jealous of this, Dee Dee. Are you jealous of this, Dee Dee? I just drank an entire bottle of cranberry juice, so maybe that will help. Does anyone actually believe that I'm the one cheating? I would be telling you about it. I unpacked my stuff and I put it on the ground. <laughs> the villa. The villa. She just threw all her stuff on the floor. Oh my gosh. The cat. BBJ staring at it. Oh my gosh. 
Look at the look at the island. You should be you're blessed to have a kitchen island. It should look beautiful. You should have like tall, clear cookie jars or or those tall, clear glass with the lid with like lemons in it. It's supposed to look pretty. You guys treated this place like a bachelor pad. You had one couch, no furniture, no decor. Ugh. So BBJ likes to lay on it? Okay, we need to plan trip number two. Where are we going? Oh yeah. Look at all the boxes behind her. All When she used to have money. To the clinic? I have all those cans actually. I'm not giving them to them. Yes, do not wear slippers, Sons of Wander, on stairs. You carry them upstairs and downstairs. At my age, I even know that. I would never wear my slippers up the steps or down the steps. You take them off, you carry them, put them back on. Go back down, carry them, put them back on. I'm going to cash it in to get a dollar. I'm boring when I'm this high. <laughs> Want me to do an impression of how he acted when I cut the cheese wrong? You can cut, finish cutting this cheese. Like, okay, we remember the infamous, the infamous uh, Nader screaming at Chantal for five hours, according to her, because he put her in charge of cubing cheese. Now, we already know I would never put Chantal in charge of cubing cheese, right? Because she's we've seen her and Pete cut vegetables, onions, uh, Cubing is not anywhere in her culinary expertise. So she's going to tell a story about when he screamed at her for hours when he was trying to make a video. Which one was it? Oh, my God. It was for that slap. I don't remember what it was called, but this was some funny shit. It was like cutting it in little cubes. It was like little pieces. <clears throat> I didn't think he meant like really, like he didn't specify like. Really uniform cubes. Yeah, you need to you need to specify. They need to be uniform to look good. So I was just cutting it away and like making jokes and I was kinda high. So then after he goes <laughs> I was kinda high. <laughs> okay. Uh obviously he didn't excuse the fact. Yeah, she's a total idiot. So yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want her touching the cheese either. Especially if she's high with a knife. I'm, I'm like, I'm done. He looks at it. He comes over. He's like, takes the cheese, like, kind of goes like this with it. Like, no, this is stupid. This You're stupid. Buffalo stupid. If you think this is okay, you have to worry about your brain. Your brain. You, this cause <laughs> He said, if you think this is okay, you have to worry about your brain. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is stupid. And then he's like, <laughs> Anger face. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put broke your face. Punch him right in the nose. <laughs> oh, you're right. It was the stroganoff. Yeah, yeah, the beef stroganoff. <laughs> that slop mess. And it turned out so horrible that he took it out on her. Yeah, they they just lay in bed smoking. Ew. Can't imagine what their fucking time is like. Made mashed sweet potato. Oh, his sweet potato dessert. Yeah. Let's get some people's order a bunch of junk food. No, let me. Yeah, that's when she had glasses. <laughs> uh oh. She's gonna react to Natter. Oh gosh. <laughs> Freaking spider monkey. She's Oh, we better be careful. He'll strike even for showing that. Hey, Dee Dee, you're Donald Trump's twin. She said I had life. Even if I like, even if I loved him and wanted to go back to him, I cannot believe a single fucking thing that comes out of his mouth, like at all, ever again. I guess the reaction channel will be soon. He really is insane if he thinks that he's gonna react. If he thinks for one second that I don't have more shit on him, He's crazy. How does he even have the balls to even make a title like that? Like the, the fact that you're even live streaming, you're using my new media kit that I got from Chapters. This clown actually thinks he's gonna make a reaction channel. She's just friends with him, but she's been there how many times already and stayed for how long in his bed? This the lies for me that pissed me off. Chantal. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I can't with her. I can't with her. He kept telling her they were still, they were just friends. They were just friends. <laughs> oh my God. He's such a fucking piece of shit liar. I hope you're watching and you're a piece of shit liar. You know that? You're a piece of shit liar. You're never getting a single thing from me ever again. You fucking swindler. You giant tiger swindler. You are the biggest piece of fucking shit ever. You have no right to be mad at me for that. Oh my God. Like, I'm just like, I'm actually like, I'm in disbelief that he treated me that way. Like this whole time. Treats fucking Dee Dee Doo Doo piece of crap like a queen, but she does fuck all for him. And meanwhile, you're mad at me for living with Pete and not leaving Pete's this channel will die without me. And that's why he did it. That's why he did it. He wanted to you to kick Pete's out of there and he wanted to live in the villa with you. Had you kicked Pete's out, he would be living in the villa with you. And you stood you stood strong and said, No, I am not kicking him out which is why you were moving your shit into the trap house. And he didn't want to live in the trap house. He wanted to do cooking videos on your island in your kitchen. He wanted to glow up. <laughs> he wanted somewhere he could film videos in his Tommy Hilfiger clothes. <laughs> I think we should react to his live stream. I guess reaction channel will be soon. <laughs> yeah, and she yeah. couldn't pick, kick Pete out because he is the leaseholder. Um... I don't know if Pete's would have, like, if she would have set him up somewhere else. Like, I don't know. I, I don't, I just don't know. But she didn't, you know, she couldn't kick him out. But Pete's generally would do anything she wants. So I don't know if he would have moved out if she got him another place. But, or paid. Let's just say paid. She was all about paying men's way. Yeah, they're saying the Lockmaw looks like me. Meanwhile, she looks like a fucking South Park version of Donald Trump. I know. I just want to. I just want to react one last time, and then we're gonna glow up tomorrow. Oh yes, I have a glow up to do. Pete, do you want like delivery lasagna or something? Where are you gonna order from? I'm thinking of raging and ordering lasagna. Why does he go set a live stream up and then take forever? Probably trying to get a quickie blowy in. Go live. <laughs> she did the best reactions when she reacted to Dee Dee and Natter. They were funny. It, and it was because it, there was no real hate. Not everyone waiting to react to your bullshit. There's my blanket. He doesn't want, oh, those There's my blanket. <laughs> See, all those blankets here. All of those. That one's my grandma's. That one's my mom's. Sorry. I just want to, like, vent for tonight, and then I'll be done. I no, she never was done. I, I honestly... And I still believe, like, even when she went to Kuwait... She was caught in his live stream chatting and, you know, yelling at Dee Dee for stealing her man while she was in Kuwait. So I still to this day don't believe she she stopped watching him. Can't watch him without throwing up. I'm sorry, I can't do it. He pisses me off. Like, I can't look at his fucking fruit fly face. Sure. Every single thing he did to me is going to be a story time. Yeah, I can't cancel an iPad. He has fucking... It's a gift. And uh, you could brick an iPad so easy. Stop. I don't care about that. It's just, he has Wi-Fi in his own Wi-Fi. Actually, I just paid the internet. And that's the problem with you, foodie, is you're not, right, you're never done with anything. Like, all your childhood memories are food. Like, it's like you live in the past and you're not even able to live in the present because you live in the past. And it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what it is. Whether it's your childhood memories, your memories with, you know, Nader. It's whatever is like monumental to you. You just keep recycling it. Instead of, you know, that's the past. Today's today. This is what I'm going to do today. You sit there and you just wallow. Wallow. I love the internet. I seen that. Nod's made the great believes. The Doma. Isn't that what it's called? Doma. He made the Doma and hers were better. Ah, <laughs> his all fell apart. Ah, go figure. I wish I could have done that. But Nudge, Nudge, he always strikes. I would have compared the two making them. I would have had to decide by side. It would have been fun. But Nudge isn't fun, which is why his channel is dead. Dead, Dee. He was yelling at me about not paying the fucking, his old phone bill that he thinks I am responsible for because I made him get a new phone because I left him stranded at the pharmacy while he was getting gonorrhea medication. Because <laughs> <laughs> TMI, TMI. We don't need to know why. 
She she was nutty as fuck, was she not? But she was so raw and real that it was absolute entertainment. Like, no matter what happened in the moment, Foodie, if she was live, it just became public knowledge. And that's what we all loved about watching her. Um, and it was the same way with uh, Katie, MFW. I mean, she would just hit the live button and whatever happened, happened. Remember when Steven came in to get a beer and he went back out and the crack lady stole his riding lawnmower and she was going down the street and Katie act like it was no big deal because she was making dinner. He was chasing the crack lady down the street with his riding mower carrying a beer. Like, that's what makes things real. And, and I miss that the most about Foodie. Because he gave me the clap. And that's why I said, <laughs> he gave me the clap. And that's a, listen, this is, Foodie Beauty is who earned the plaque. Not Everyday Miriam. Uh-uh. You're going to pay it or go to collections for it, pal. Not me. Huh. I did not give the blanket to Nader. I had it in my car. It's freezing in his bedroom. So I brought it to you because he hogs the blanket. He doesn't care if I'm cold or not. He's actually really disgusting and cruel. He's like cruel. Like if I told you this stuff, you would be like, no, there's no way this is real. Dee Dee said it's a gift. What Dee Dee? Like what is she his mouthpiece now? Is she? She's fucking stupid. Oh my God. <laughs> is that how stupid I look? Did I look pathetic like Dee Dee? Yeah. I'm challenging you. If you get right and you end up going back to him, will you donate 500 to Chitty? Yeah. Uh, the sound is her video. Right, I will. I don't think I can talk about his cruelest moments because they're like probably criminal, but <laughs> lucky I'm nice. He used to get mad at me and like frantic, like, can you send me money? I have to send, um, I borrowed a hundred from my ex. So it's my problem that you borrowed money from your ex. So why are you prioritizing paying back your ex? What about me? <laughs> <laughs> he would call her frantic. He needed a hundred bucks. He said, I have to pay back my ex. He's like, well, why, why are you prioritizing your ex? And that? Why aren't you paying me back? So we all know now uh, what he was probably using the money for. Um, but she was a sucker. If he called her frantic about anything, she just did it. She would constantly like Venmo him money. Honestly, Chantal, did we, did we learn anything? <laughs> the time he gave his ex two grams of my powder... Like when I first got, I left, I should have known better. I bought like an eight. I'm talking code. This was before. Yeah, we know. Devil snow. That's what happens. You blow through all that money when you get involved with an addict. I did order food. Bought an eight ball and I left like two grams there. I came back a couple days later, whatever, asking about it. Oh, I gave it to my ex. It was her birthday. I'm like, what? Like, you have the fucking nerve. Like, just, he has, like, no regard for any of my stuff. Like, no regard for me at all. Like, for, when I think back, like, either. It should have been easy to just let him go. He, he probably did it in just saying that he gave it to her. Oh, he said I drove high to Montreal? So, he's admitting I picked him up then or what? He says I drive high all the time. Mm, he's just looking for anything. He, like, likes to torture me. Uh, how do I fix the audio? Do I have to start a new one? I'll call you a better time and come and spy on you? What? That didn't... What? Wait, wait, what did he say? Don't you talk about my looks. You're like too warm. You look like a fucking giraffe. <laughs> Don't talk about my looks. You look like a giraffe. On crack with AIDS. <laughs> you look like a Fucking giraffe camel with AIDS. Okay. <laughs> hey, fucking silkworm fruit fly. Silkworm fruit fly. <laughs> 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 Why don't we restart the stream? I'll be back. Her audio was bad, so she had to restart the stream. All right. Next one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, hello. Hello. I know I'm still in dirty clothes. I gotta get ready for the day. I'm trying to think of what I want to have. Three days in a row clothes, I know. <laughs> she wore that same shirt for three days in a row. No, Brooke, I can't put it on slow mode. I'm too lazy. It is hizzy. Hi. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's be nice today to everybody. 
I'm making a whole bunch of stuff. That's why I said eating my fridge, because that's what I'm doing. Dee Dee was dragging me, because she's a freaking lump of dough. And every time anybody came in her bees or chat, Dee Dee was dragging you again, just to get her going. <laughs> like, and I'm not just talking about looks. I just mean, that's the extent of her personality. And then Jennifer will. Look, I support an adder no matter what. I work for the FBI, you fucking with the wrong person. Oh, she talking about that Jennifer. I'm not gonna make fun of Dee Dee for her gender. Obviously, it's the fact that she lies that bugs me. <laughs> you see that piece of garlic bread? I don't just sit on messenger and call people at all. <laughs> well, I'm there, no. So I don't know. Like, I bought him all those. I did all those things for him out of love. So I don't feel pathetic for it. If being a good person makes me pathetic, then I don't know what to tell you all. But I'm not going to listen to fucking 21 year old. <laughs> For my moral compass. Thank you. Who thinks they know everything? I don't have a clean fork, so I'm using a spoon. I'm eating sausage. Yeah, Dee Dee even said that she thinks that eventually Natter would go back to foodie. All right, Tiggs, you need a carrot? Let's rock and roll. Rock and roll. Seriously. Trying to make me crazy again today. All right. Get some hot milk, boy. There you go. <coughs> Undelay. <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> I aspirated water. <coughs> God, that's brutal. This is out of the pan. Ow, fuck. <laughs> Daddy, would you like some sausages? I'm never cooking another thing in my life after this. Cream <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Every time she cooked, they shut off the smoke detectors. I aspirated my water. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> She's oh. all out of breath. All right, Diddy Lulu. You fucking bitch, I'm blocking you. You have a light? Uh -huh. She's blocking you, Dee Dee. Oh my God, my eyes are watering. Yeah, I aspirated my drink of water. That is brutal. <coughs> That's crazy. A life? You want to go there? You have a life? What was spending a whole week at Natters? Eating my food. On live stream doing. You have a life at No, it was her smoke detector. She had to get up and wave it. It's above the bathroom. For the morning, you're reading for Natter? <laughs> Jimmy Gypsy says thanks for the super chat, Natter. Go have fun with your drinks with your friends. <laughs> Desperate, sad, old woman. Fuck off. You look like Chris Farley. <laughs> Tell me I have a fucking life. You have a fucking nerve. Desperate doo-doo Dee Dee. <laughs> <laughs> she hated Dee Dee. Good egg. Suck my egg. <laughs> you spent all week sucking nadders telling me to have a fucking life? Bitch. <laughs> Ooh, no, you didn't. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm-mm-mm-mm. It's pathetic. That's all I have to say. So go for dinner with Shushi and Doo Doo and fucking Lulu and Tutu. <laughs> I am bitter. And you would never say this to my face because you're such a fucking waif, simp, fart in the wind. You know you are. <laughs> what? And apparently Kiwi Farms knows where you work. Good for them. I'm fucking glad for them for once. So what makes me hypocrite? I don't care. <laughs> You're literally online every single time Natter goes live. Oh, hi, Natter. I have such a life. A fucking Billy. <laughs> oh, man, did she go hard for Dee Dee. Who are you going out with tonight, Billy Zane? Fuck off. All of you can fuck off. 
Your friend just disrespected me publicly. You're going to get her to fucking apologize to me on your channel when she's there. Yeah, it's going to happen. <laughs> I have a life. Listen, if you have to tell people you have a life, Dee, Dee you don't have a life. Having fucking gas station wine at someone's house and going, just sitting there going, I have a life. <laughs> Doesn't make it so, bitch, okay? <laughs> bitch, bitch, bitch. Mm, I can't wait till you say that to my face the next time you're in Gatineau. I can't fucking wait. <clears throat> she knew Dee Dee was coming back. She was pissed. <clears throat> I can do my job from prison. My YouTube I can do my job from prison. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I know. I don't understand either. So this stuff just entered her brain and came right out her mouth. Now she has to be quiet and behave. Now FFG is her main source of contempt. <laughs> uh, I'm sure. I don't know. If she's back in Canada. You know, Dee Dee might step back up to the forefront. I don't know. Too bad. I'm kidding. I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste my fucking time on her. There's no way... We would lie like that for somebody. Unless you're getting something. She, lost she still thought they were friends. Everything Nader says. <laughs> I want to fuck someone in the ass. <laughs> Her impressions. <laughs> I'm laughing at everything. I tell them off. I'm not talking about food, not heat. The Trump is dangerous. <laughs> Friend with benefits. <laughs> you think I'm your way? <laughs> yeah, no one likes you. Yeah, you laughed at everything he said too. You're both a bunch of. You're both a couple cackling hens. I'm lying, boring liar. You oh, wouldn't even kiss me. That's what. That's what he says. He kissed me awake a couple nights ago. She hasn't disrespected me, Curly, by sleeping in the same bed as the person I'm seeing. Keep watching, because I'm not done dragging you, actually. My lack of self-awareness. I should be me. I kiss now. Ready to say Remy's. I kiss not her. I kiss not her balls, I'm Dee Dee. Oh my god. Um, no. If you don't like that I insult Dee Dee, you can go away. So this is a wig thin, I think. How does this work? Am I, I mean, am I doing it right? Yes. I never know how to do anything like this snapping. I'm gonna snap. Oh, lock it in. <sighs> I gotta look at the instructions. Ah. I'll do it after. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye, guys. I'll see you guys in a bit, okay? Bye. Oh, my God, with this one. Okay, then this is the infamous. After Nader, Dee Dee came back to Nader's, and she was so mad, and I think she was showing up there, and then Nader did a live stream that said, basically, he was going to go uh, file a, a protection order to keep Chantal away from his place in Gatineau, and she's the, she got in the car that morning, and you know what happened. You know what happened. Can you? So I wake up today. My phone was dead. Good thing because people were blowing it up. By the way, check this out. Wait, I have hives. I might have to go back to the clinic. I think I have hives. How cute! <laughs> Making breakfast before taking action. Yeah, it's that's crazy. what it was called. Making breakfast before taking action. And he was going to go over to the courthouse and he was going to file like a restraining order to keep her away from his place. It's like unbelievable. It just keeps getting worse. I'm at my wit's end. I cannot handle anymore. You need to F off. Like you're going to go and take action against me for what? I didn't delete your stupid fucking video. I don't. You even said so yourself. I changed my password. She has a link to my account. I did not delete your video. I don't have access to your account. 
contact YouTube and prove it. Actually, I'm really, really, really looking forward to that. You need to like lay off the drugs or something, okay? I don't know what your problem is, but you're paranoid. Number two, anyone with $20, I could pay someone $20, they could do the same job. Real nice. <laughs> Yeah. Real nice attitude after I fucking hours of editing for you. So basically, she was using the excuse of editing videos and filming him cooking to stay in his life, right? Like she was, she was like working for him. And he said, I could pay anybody 20 bucks to do what you do. And the fact that you have $4,000 right now. It's because you have a fucking channel that you're earning ad revenue from. You ungrateful. Not anymore. <laughs> because he struck everybody. So he learned the hard way that if you get rid of the reaction channels, right? Pay attention. If you strike the reaction channels and get rid of them, not like get rid of their channels, but make them just go, screw this. You're not worth it. Right? Then your channel will go down the toilet. And that's what's happened to his toy. He's lucky he gets eight people in a live stream. Grateful fucking prick. And yes, people who are saying, well, now she only wants to contact the police now because she's mad. Well, yeah, because I forgave you. You forgave me for talking about you online. I forgave you. So are you, are, are you admitting that you went to the police station because you were mad? I forgave you for all of the abusive shit you did to me. You don't remember that, right? Okay. Well, all right. So she is saying, you know, she forgave all the abusive stuff. Okay. Listed online? I don't think so. He's not gonna let this go. When he thinks I deleted one of his videos, that's all he focuses on. You don't get to choose how I deal with what you do to me behind the scenes. You do what you do and there's consequences for it. I don't know if you know that, like grow up maybe, um, we'll see. You are hanging out with a 50 year old. Why doesn't she fucking teach you these things in life? <laughs> I mean, seriously, like I don't know how a grown adult can handle being with this guy for like three weeks. Like just watching him whine in bed all day, smoking, coughing. Ew, and every time I hear him cough, PTSD, trust me. <laughs> trauma, coughing trauma. I'm not even kidding. I hear him cough and I like freak out. <laughs> you want me to apo he you want me to apologize for talking shit about you online? What about my apology? I get fuck all and I get treated like shit from you every day of the week. It's bullshit, actually. <laughs> and I'm not really not saying for it. <laughs> oh god that's funny she just bitching trying to put a wig on actually anymore period did she put did she put it over top of that strange cap play this game <laughs> and i'm good at playing games so you know what, what <laughs> i'm trying to be serious <laughs> Why is one side? Is this one she cut on? There we go. It's not bad. Oh, God. It's horrid. So he deleted his own video and put a blame on me because he wants to try to get back at me somehow. Don't fuck with me. Okay? Word of advice. So smart was Diana after complaining. She then told everyone her sister's name in capitals just so we were all clear. Okay, you're, you're, it's not my fault. Your, your um, geriatric lovers don't know how to use technology. Okay? <laughs> so I have to pay for your stupid idiot members doxing themselves? So nice. Where are we going to eat today? Since I'm such a fat ass. He's on his way to the courthouse. If he really is, I'm going to the police station right now. <laughs> oh, God. So somebody in her chat said he's on his way to the courthouse right now. Oh, is he? All right, then I'm on my way to the police station. If you didn't do anything wrong, you wouldn't be so defensive. A bunch of words and actions. What did I do wrong, Lori? Since you're so fucking knowledgeable. <laughs> I mean, like, do I go to the, like, police station and, like, file a police report, like, for every single thing he's already do already done to me, or what? I know where his PO is, if I can go over there right now. I feel like I don't have any, like, justice or closure, and I feel like a huge injustice has been done to me. So maybe I won't rest until... I don't know. What a moron. Like, I have more grounds for legal action than him. What a stupid idiot. Liliana! <laughs> Welcome to Rumble Music, Rush Me! I'm gonna do the police report online. He, he, that's funny, he warned Roman, I'm gonna get him hooked on drugs. Who gave me coke the first day I went there? I never wanted to do this. I never wanted to do anything legal. I feel like I have to do something. His defense is that I never went to the police. I never took a legal That was the Beezers messing with her. They're like, oh, 
he said if he would he if he abused you, um, you never even went to the police and filed any charges before. Why now? Or anything because I was always hopeful that things would. So she didn't file anything because she was always hopeful. He would change and things would. That he would change and everything would work out. Go. I'm gonna go to his probation officer's office. <laughs> Taking action. So am I. I'm driving to your probation officer right now. Do, 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 do. On the way. <laughs> oh my god. I couldn't. I just couldn't believe <laughs> all this played out for us. The gadget on the way to the gadget So after today, I'm not talking about him anymore because I'm going to for sure. I'm definitely pursuing legal action. Actually, I'm glad I talked about him online. Because all this is video evidence, video diary evidence of everything that's ever happened. He's done some pretty disgusting shit I haven't even told you guys about. So, oh my god, you belong in jail. You are a violent, dangerous criminal. You should have never dropped those charges. And trust me, we're going to be covering that in part three tomorrow. Going to the PO office right now. You and Dee Dee or tonight if I take a nap and I feel like, let's keep going. Better run and catch up with me. Uh oh. You're fucking with the wrong one, pal. Ooh, Putin. So yeah, she gets eat. distracted by Putin. Get <laughs> something to eat after. Guys, I'm not really sure where it is. Anyway, I'm going to go into this police station and ask them where I can contact somebody's correctional officer. Yeah, I actually believe, like, if we were to talk about this, Dot, I do believe what you're saying. Um, that the only reason he chose Dee Dee, and Dee Dee, lean in, is because Chantal lived with Pete. And I think he needed to get out of that place he was in, or he was desperate to get out of that place he was in. And you made Montreal seem like, you know, just a better thing. But I feel like when it came to, Chantal and Nader were like, a candle wick and a match. You know what I'm saying? They had a lot of passion, a lot of like energy with each other. And I'm not saying it's all good. I'm just saying that the reason he chose you is because he wanted to get out of Gatineau. And I think he wanted to go live in the villa because he tried to get Foodie to get rid of Pete. And then, you know, Pete hated him. He hated Pete. So he was never going to be moving in there. All right, I'm at the police station. Uh-oh. So this the police. <laughs> okay, Kimikaze, that's the one that sounds familiar. Okay, I'm gonna just, I, I think that's the one I saw the picture. And it came up right away in my GPS. Just wait, just fucking wait, guys. Should have done this a long time ago. I've made up my mind about Pete's. He's gonna, he's gotta come in. I just have to pay someone money. Yeah, you remember saying those things? Okay, I do. Can I not come here? I can't, it's not for the public, it says. Why do we get in here? He's at the courthouse having his relocation application approved to move to Montreal. Yeah, we'll see about that. Now, that's the thing that stuck to me because he was going in to the courthouse to appeal to move to Montreal because he was on probation. So he had to go in and get it approved to move to Montreal with Didi. And then Foodie finds out from the chat and she said, yeah, we'll see about that. I don't know, should I go in or should I do it online? <laughs> now she went to the police station. Yes, looking like that. And left the live on. It was like two hours. In the car. Yeah. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really talk about it. I have to come back in an hour. It's more serious than I thought, actually. Okay, let me go get it. Oh, so you thought this was just going to be internet content? You didn't think that would be serious? You didn't think that would be serious? First, you're probably thinking, how can you be hungry at a time like this? I don't know. I'm sorry. Did you hit something? I'm legally allowed to talk about it. I'm sorry I made you guys wait that long. I did not think things would take that long, actually. I don't know how long I'm gonna be there, so I'm gonna go offline after. I didn't think things would go down like this. 
So it's not like I'm not, like I asked the cop, I'm like, am I allowed to talk about any of this online? I said, I'm a YouTuber, I live stream, um, and I'm allowed to legally talk about it. There's no legal whatever, but obviously anything I say can be used against me yeah. from now on, right? In a way, like I'm eating emotionally. So I don't, we'll talk about later tonight. Dee Dee's in here, really. She might be going to Gatineau, I mean to Montreal sooner than she thinks. <laughs> I'll go through my videos and find the dates of certain events. Okay, I will be back. Don't worry. I won't leave you hanging. I will be back, okay? I'm going to call Pete. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, my gosh. So that's where we're going to end it for part two. When she went to the police station, and he's gonna, she's going to show him, right? Now, remember, we're working our way up to Kuwait. Just gonna squeal to his probation officer and he made her file a police report. Imagine asking the cops if you can make content off your allegations. I know, right? I remember this was wild and you know she didn't take it serious. Do you remember her? Okay, we're gonna, listen, we're moving on to part three, either tonight or tomorrow, okay? And we're gonna see where she finds out he was actually arrested. And the look on her face and then all the events that took place after that. Like we're working our way to how did she end up in Kuwait? Was it because of, you know, the, the threesome? It just pushed her over the edge? Or was it the fact that she just needed to go somewhere and get Nader out of her head? And Natter is still, still reacting to her videos. Her, him and Dee Dee are still bringing her up. He's still like, he made the Doma. Like, he's still, like, you say she's a stalker? I'm starting to think they are. They won't stop. Like, they just won't stop. I mean, they think it's going to bring views to their video? No, because you won't let us react to it. I don't know how many times I got to tell you two clowns that if you quit striking people, then you know what? You'll get your views. But nobody, no, no. So forget it. It's because you don't want to hear what people have to say. Well, then don't put shit on the internet. How about that? She did. She almost pissed herself when she found out they got a, he got arrested. Yeah, we're not interested in those two clowns. But I would have done the cooking the Doma side by side. And, and and Nader can't take it. You can't laugh at him. You can't laugh at anything he does. He's got a whopping 10 to 20 people. Right. Right. Yeah. And he's got two strikes on his channel. Huh? Third strike, you're out. And down goes Natty Daddy with it. Guess you don't learn anything on the YouTubes, do you? Damn you. So anyway... Uh, this is where we're at, and I am using Queen of WTF. I'm using uh, her recaps, right? They're small little recaps, the best parts in a small chunk. So it's just gold, people. It's gold. Now listen, I've been up since the crack of dawn. I need to take a nap. I feel it. I'm tired. A little stressful morning. I may be able to talk to you about it. But I can't yet. Anyway, so I'm going to take a nap. And thank you guys so much. What were his strikes for? He's striking everybody. He, even if you, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's like you are vengeful. It makes me see you in a whole different light, Natter. You know, Chantel tried to tell us, but now you're proving it. For real. You can't play ball with anybody, can you? You've got to be the boss. And you think you're the boss of YouTubes now. Well, you're finding out that many people are reporting you for false striking. And now YouTube agrees that you are a false striker. And guess what? That will come back on you. It will come back on you and your channel. So... Um, because people reported him for false striking... He went on a little two-week vacay, and now the next one means bye-bye. It was nice knowing you.
<laughs> and it'd probably be good for Chantal's mental health if you, you know, just saying. Anyway, so thank you guys for, you know, just hanging out, laughing. Remember, there's no real hate. This is just a reaction channel to the things that were put on the internet. And um, it's our story. It's our soap opera. So we're trying to figure out how did Chantal get to Kuwait? What drove her there? Because we know she's not happy. She wants to go home, see her family. She does. We're going to get you home, foodie. We'll get you home. We're going to work through all of it. All right, guys. Love y'all. I'll see you later. Bye now.